Hello, how are you? Hola, ¿qué tal? It is not uncommon for an older person to sometimes forget where they put their keys or glasses, where they park their car, or be unable to remember the name of an acquaintance. As you get older, it tends to take longer to remember things. It is true that there are very old people who have no memory problems, in fact, such cases cause us to admire them, and we say that the person has his head very much in his place. But it is precisely this admiration that tells us that memory lapses can be a normal part of aging. But it is precisely this admiration that tells us that memory lapses can be a normal part of aging even if they are often more annoying than serious. Another thing is memory loss that begins suddenly or that clearly interferes with the ability to function in daily life. This may indicate a more serious problem. There are some changes in brain function that we should be aware of to distinguish them from normal age-related decline. Dementia is a slow decline in memory, problem-solving, learning ability and judgment. It can develop over several weeks or months. Many diseases can cause dementia or similar symptoms. Alzheimer's disease is the most common dementia in people over 65, and we have talked about it on this channel. Delirium is a sudden change in the functioning of a person's brain, their mental state. It can cause confusion, changes in sleep-wake cycles and abnormal behavior. Its causes can range from withdrawal from alcohol, drugs or medication, to an infection or other health problem that starts or worsens. We have also talked about it on this channel. Amnesia is a loss of memory that can be caused by a head injury, stroke or substance abuse, or even a serious emotional event. Amnesia can be short-lived or permanent, depending on the cause. When poor memory is a real problem and you need to ask for help has also been discussed on this channel. Confusion or decreased alertness may be the first symptom of a serious illness. This is especially true for older people. Health problems that can cause it are Infections, such as a brain abscess, encephalitis, or meningitis, also others, such as urinary tract, respiratory or sepsis, which is an infection that has spread through the blood and tissues. There are even sexually transmitted ones, as is the case with syphilis, in advanced stage, and the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV a seizure disorder, epilepsy, brain tumors, diminished hearing or vision, Alzheimer's disease, asthma or copt, cause a decrease in the amount of oxygen or an increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the blood, heart problems that reduce blood flow. Examples include heart failure, coronary heart disease and arrhythmias a decrease or blockage of blood flow to the brain. This can occur during a transient ischemic attack, TIA, or stroke, a head injury, problems from diabetes, such as low blood sugar levels, hyperglycemia, or high blood sugar levels, hyperglycemia, electrolyte imbalances, such as low levels of sodium and potassium in the blood, Sleep problems, such as inability to fall or stay asleep, insomnia, or sleep apnea, kidney or liver failure, cause accumulation of high levels of toxins in the blood, malnutrition and vitamin deficiencies caused by health problems. One example is alcohol use disorder, the so-called Wernick-Korsakoff syndrome. Mental health problems, such as depression or schizophrenia. Thyroid problems. These include hyperthyroidism, myxedema coma, and hyperthyroidism. Many prescription and over-the-counter medications can cause confusion or decreased alertness. 
These problems can be caused by taking too much of one drug or by interactions between two or more of them. In fact, over-medication may be the main cause of memory loss or confusion in older people. Let us not forget that they can also interact with alcohol. Polymedication and alcohol are a bad combination. But drugs can also cause problems through deprivation. Bien, ya vemos que hay múltiples causas de confusión, pero aún no hemos acabado porque las condiciones del entorno también pueden provocar cambios en el nivel de Exposure to low temperatures may cause hypothermia. Exposure to high temperatures. Heat stroke can lead to dehydration, which can lead to heat stroke, i.e. headache, dizziness, nausea and muscle cramps. Hospitalization often affects older people when their environment and routines are disrupted. Decreased oxygen in the blood, hypoxia, due to altitude. Exposure to poisonous toxins, such as carbon monoxide, as a result of poor combustion. Confusion can range from mild to severe. Symptoms of confusion may include confused or disorganized thoughts, unusual, strange or aggressive behavior, having trouble solving problems or performing tasks that were once easy, not knowing where you are or not recognizing family members or familiar objects, strong but false beliefs, delusions, seeing, hearing, feeling, smelling or tasting things that do not really exist, i.e. hallucinations or delusions, unfounded suspicions that others are persecuting you or want to harm you, i.e. paranoia. Often there are other symptoms, such such as fever, chest pain or inability to walk or stand. It is important to report all symptoms associated with confusion or decreased alertness to your doctor, as this will help him or her to find the cause. Decreased alertness can progress to loss of consciousness. This is when a person is not fully awake, is not aware of their external environment or is not able to respond to it normally, and may mean that a chronic illness has worsened. A person who loses consciousness is neither awake nor aware of their surroundings. El desmayo que produce un síncope es una forma de inconsciencia breve. El coma es un estado de inconsciencia profundo y prolongado. Hablemos ahora de... Como decíamos, en la mayoría de los casos, tener un fallo... As we said, in most cases, having a memory lapse from time to time does not mean a serious problem. But whatever the diagnosis, there are some suggestions that may be useful for older people. What we sometimes call forgetfulness is nothing more than inattention, almost always due to carrying too much on one's mind. It is therefore necessary to slow down the speed at which things are done and focus attention on one task at a time. Following routines eases the mental burden, so it is very useful to always do things in the same order and to arrange the environment in a stable way to help the memory. For example, always leaving the keys on a tray when entering saves a lot of startling and confusion. On the other hand, it is also a good idea to use calendars, clocks and reminders, as well as memory aids such as repeating a name several times after meeting a person, or memorizing a pin by attributing meaning to the numbers. By the way, as for passwords, I have them written down on paper, and they usually follow a pattern that only makes sense to me. Of course, you can always resort to a password management application. Have you ever gone to the kitchen to get something, only to forget it as soon as you walk through the door? It's quite normal. 
And the best way to remember what you were going to do is to retrace your steps. On the other hand, stress impairs memory, so you have to find ways to get rid of stress. As mentioned earlier, medications and their interactions can cause confusion and thus impair memory. So it is imperative to review with all doctors the established guidelines, discuss any perceived mental confusion or memory lapses attributable to what is being taken, and if possible, have a single pharmacy stock all drugs, so as to have an extra layer of security, so to speak. If we are dealing with someone who suffers from memory impairment, we have to remind ourselves that their problem-solving, learning, or judgment skills will be reduced. For this reason, if we have to give instructions to teach a new task, it is better to keep them brief, to explain them in simple steps, or even to write them down clearly. And that's it for today. I hope it hasn't been too confusing. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.